the top five pros and cons of living in Tampa, Florida in 2023. Well, thanks for stopping by. Let's not waste any time and let's get started with the pros. Number one is the beautiful weather. The city experiences an average of 246 days of sunshine per year, which makes this the perfect place for any outdoor activities. Uh, you can enjoy biking, hiking, running, kayaking, any other ing that you can think of outside, or simply enjoy a picnic uh, with the family. Number two are the beaches. Tampa is just a short drive away from some of the most beautiful beaches in the world, including Clearwater Beach, Sand Key Beach, St. Pete Beach, Treasure Island, Madeira Beach. Uh, these beaches offer crystal clear waters, white sand, and plenty of sun. Number three is a thriving economy. Tampa's economy is rapidly growing with several major companies setting up their headquarters here, actually. This has created a lot of job opportunities in various sectors, such as healthcare, finance, defense contractors, technology, and many more. Also, the city's low taxes and business-friendly policies make it an attractive destination for entrepreneurs and investors alike. Number four is a vibrant culture. Uh, Tampa is a melting pot of many different cultures, making it very diverse and vibrant. Uh, you can explore the city's rich history, visiting a bunch of museums, historical landmarks, have a good art scene, music scene. Another part of the culture is food. And Tampa has a great food scene, from fresh seafood, world-class steakhouses, amazing Cuban cuisines, and so much more. There is literally an option for everybody, uh, for all your tastes and budgets. Number five, professional sports teams. We have several top professional sports teams like Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Tampa Bay Rays, and Tampa Bay Lightning which gives sports enthusiasts plenty to cheer for. The city has been buzzing these past few years due to all the success that they've had, which has really been fun to be a part of. Those are the pros, now let's move on to the cons. And the first con is weather. While Tampa's weather is generally warm and sunny, we're also known to kind of be a little hot and humid during the summer. Also during the summer, you can expect afternoon thunderstorms, but don't worry, just wait about 10 minutes or so and it'll clear up. Also, Tampa does have a risk of tropical storms and hurricanes, but we typically have a week or so heads up, so you have plenty of time to prepare for those. Number two is traffic. Tampa's growing population has led to an increase of traffic on the highways and city streets, which makes rush hour a bit challenging. Number three are the snowbirds. While Tampa sees an influx of people moving down here during the winter months, who we absolutely love. The only reason I'm gonna say this is a con is that it can lead to crowded popular areas and increase the traffic. Number four is public transportation. Tampa's public transportation system is pretty limited, which means you're most likely need to own a car to get around. However, downtown does have the Tico streetcar, which is a free trolley system that has 11 stops, goes from the convention center downtown all the way out to Ybor City, and it's pretty fun to ride. And the fifth con is high insurance cost. Tampa and Florida in general has a higher auto insurance since we are a no-fault state with a higher percentage of uninsured drivers. And due to the risk of hurricanes and flooding, homeowners insurance and rental insurance costs can be a little bit higher as well. There you have it, the top pros and cons of living in Tampa in 2023. I hope this video has been helpful for anyone considering Tampa as their next home. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you on the next video.